This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the janitorial stores, How to Hire Star Employees for Your Cleaning Company. This is a recorded webinar that helps you avoid common hiring mistakes, how to create employment ads that attract the right people, how to create your hiring system, forms to get started with, and much more. Be sure to check it out by visiting the link below. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. I've seen many cleaning companies improving their hiring practices in the last couple years. But with all the competition for finding and retaining talented people, employee turnover continues to be a problem in the cleaning industry. And because many of us struggle with finding and retaining good cleaning technicians, it becomes hard to stick with our strict hiring policies. Sometimes the need for a warm body supersedes our common sense, doesn't it? We know we should take our time to find the right people, but sometimes our growth is outpacing our ability to find and retain employees. So we end up with these negative thoughts running through our heads. You may think to yourself, oh, they'll probably leave anyway as soon as they find a better paying job. Or why spend so much time on training when they only stick around a couple months? The problem with this type of thinking is that when we have this attitude about hiring and training cleaning technicians, that is exactly what we're going to get, employees that don't stick around. So what does it mean to hire versus recruit? When you hire, you're simply filling job openings, and in most cases you need someone right away, so chances are you'll hire almost anyone that walks into the office. You may even hire someone on the spot after one interview because you need to get this position filled this week. When you recruit, you're putting more planning into your entire hiring process. You're thinking about your potential employees as professional cleaning technicians, not just someone that can fill a quick opening. You're being proactive by explaining the benefits of working for your company and possible career paths so that potential employees would think to themselves, this sounds like a great place to work. You put more effort into carefully screening potential employees by asking the tough questions, doing second interviews, doing reference checks, and doing background checks. And finally, you're taking the time to train them right instead of taking shortcuts because you think you're wasting your time training short-term employees. If you're tired of employees going through the revolving door, start thinking about how you can better recruit employees instead of just hiring people that have a pulse. Now I'd like to hear from you. Please share your tips for recruiting long-term employees by posting your comments below the video. That's it for today's show. If you're tired of employee turnover, be sure to check out the janitorial store's How to Hire Star Employees for Your Cleaning Company. You'll learn how to avoid common hiring mistakes, how to create employment ads that attract the right people, how to create your system for hiring, forms to get started with, and much more. Be sure to check it out by visiting the link below. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.